after the guys outside. But we, we, we're in a window of the world. But, um, but if you're keeping, if you're putting one of the main thorns in Harry's side in the final few frames of the movie. Yeah, Malfoy. Yeah, you know that uh, there's a reason for that. They're setting up his kids as being a little thug also. Well, his part, here's part of it is Malfoy, through, through the series, he's a bad kid, but then him and Harry are kind of, they're like, oh, it, 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 they, they're kind of friends, but he's bad, and he, it, it, it's like even when he could have, okay. okay, we're not going to tell you everything. No, but no if, but, you, if you read the book, you know there's a convoluted ending with him. What happens doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. He does look far better with blonde hair than he does the way he's normal. So he'll be a bill. He'll be like you know Robert Shaw and Goldfinger. He'll keep that blonde mm -hmm. hair building up forever. But uh, in my sense, he he and Hermione have the two best chances of being breakouts because nobody Harry. Okay, the uh, the young man that plays Daniel Radcliffe. He's too small. Yes, I mean if they're going to do uh oh she's. Yeah, I know. I know. Sometimes the computer. I know doesn't. she doesn't. She damn my computer. But uh, no. But um, the, this gentleman here and Hermione. But I mean, the other was it, Mr. Gant, the place you know, one of the kids. He just simply has. I mean, the redhead, uh, uh, Ron. Yeah, I think that um, you know uh, Grant will have probably the best chance of playing uh, comedy stuff. I mean, he'd be great for. You know those comedy type roles, but he's Rupert Grant. Uh, Rupert Grant. Yeah. Grant. He just isn't. He doesn't. He can. He's athletic enough, but he's got that. He got off a young look. That he's going to have for the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. So you got to see him. I would say playing the. You know the the. You know the the buddy that's always um, that. You know he's not quite as as sharp as you would as you would he would want to be, but he's sharper than what you think he is. You know, as he does show in the movie, he is far sharper than what he's given credit for. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, so is a little blonde-haired airhead in the movie. Oh, Luna Lovegood. I love that name. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, she's she's way sharper than she she's she Harry, she plays a pivotal Harry, point. With Harry, a, I have something you need to know. Yeah, and uh, you know, if you pay attention to her earlier. You don't have the end of the movie, so... Yeah, you need to pay attention to her. Come on, let's go. I, Harry's being nice, but he doesn't really want to talk. I know. You, all you had to do was listen to her an hour earlier, and the movie would have ended. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, but, uh, but there's... It's, 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 uh, uh, you know... The Harry See, here's part of it. If, if you love the Harry Potter series, you're going to totally love this. If you have not seen another Harry Potter series, which... It's, How many of you have never seen Harry Potter? Okay, then yeah. it's just another movie. Yeah, but it is. Um, I, I look at it this way. I looked at it. I watched. I watched the first movie. I know the other kid, the people around us, which there's an awful, got awful lot of adults in there. Little, a lot of adults that they said, well, the Harry Potter thing. These people grew up with. Them. None of you're my age you grew up with them. And there was a lot of people in their fifties and sixties in that place. And there were kids, and they were dressed up in costumes. Yeah, they had little ones, little life ones. So, so them. I look as it as um, basically foreshadowing what is going to happen in the future. They're turning these kids into an action series mm -hmm. where they're going to be. Uh, it, it just looks like it. They just, the whole thing. People were overdoing the action. All of them. Hermione, Gent, you know, uh, you know the, all of them. They were overdoing the action, and all the people around them, all the kids that you've seen grown up, all of a sudden. They're, I mean, these guys are fighting, you know, like they were in, a, you know, they were in a G.I. Joe's movie, or like, like they were in a Tolkien film. These guys, mm -hmm. the only thing they didn't have was their swords. Well, they were using their wands. Yeah, they were fighting with them, but they were doing it. They, so, I, I, you basically, you know, they did, they did kill off a lot of people because the reason why they, here's a good one, folks. Guess who suffered the most casualties? Was it the kids? No, it was the people that wouldn't be available in the next set of movies, the adults. Mm -hmm. All, uh, you know, unless you were really old, look this way, if you were in your 
50s, you didn't make the cut. If you were in your 60s and 70s, you survived the battle. Why? You're smart enough to know better. Yeah, but they also, <laughs> they, uh, the ones that are in their 60s and 70s, you know, could be easily transmitted over into the next movie. But the guy in his 40s and 50s, he might not be available in three or four years. The guy in their 60s and 70s, they don't have any, but they're getting that age where they're, okay, it's just like uh, Richard Attenborough is thinking about coming back in the next Jurassic Park movie because Richard Attenborough's retired. Well, you know, because part of it is if you think, I mean, when did the first Harry Potters uh, start? Ten years ago. Okay. Because uh, I remember uh, the uh, young, okay, uh, Richard Harris was died, he was, he, the first two movies, he was the headmaster. He died. You know, when he was uh, 67 years old, he would today be about 75. He flat out said that he, you know, he was healthy as an ox. This is a guy basically, just a, you know, like they call him a muscle bound oaf that just happened to have great talent, could sing, to do charming. He was an Irishman, you know. But uh, he said after after the second movie that he knew what the future was and that he would never live to see the end of the Harry Potter franchise. Yeah. He said the franchise, not the movies. He said the franchise. Because he, you know, well, when you're Richard Harris, you generally are told what's going to happen. Well, and you also, you also have an idea. Yeah. I mean, because you've seen the characters and... I mean, if you if you look at the different characters, first of all, Daniel Radcliffe has been on what he's been on Broadway. Yeah. Hermione, she hasn't really done anything. She's else. getting ready to do things, and the other Peter, Mr. Gann, I don't think has done much either. But now, well, uh, you know, part of it is they've been very busy with the Harry Potter series. Yeah, they've and especially if you've got them all on the books, it's like it's a very, well, as they, you know, it's a very successful series. To put it this way, they're um, they made, but they said six point eight billion dollars a series is made, but. You got to listen to the words. Words are very important because Maggie Smith says, I, I look forward to this franchise. Maggie Smith is one of the people that survived. She's got kind of two or two animals. And she's looking forward to the franchise. It's just like Sigourney Weaver looking forward to the alien franchise continuing. Uh -huh. So, um, that art, the avatar, she said, my God, I'm going to be 70 years old when my contract's up. So part of it is people enjoy watching that mm -hmm. these. They still continue to do it. The characters still enjoy it. So you know. Okay. okay. Here's a here's a tip. Let's downplay Harry Potter, Hermione, and Mr. Gantz roles, and put um, uh, let's put let's say Sean Connery and Harrison Ford in the in the senior roles, and have them as the action heroes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how easily they could have fit into it. They could have played the the leads, you know, Mel, the two male older leads in the thing, and just built the movie around them. And you'd have never seen any perceivable difference between the abilities and the action stuff. It was designed specifically, I think, to move people from A to C. Because there's no reason to have the huge god awful battle that was done in in. Uh, in the last of the movies, uh, in one and two, except for the fact they're trying to set you up. Okay, we've got, we've got arm. Okay, we have Armageddon that happened. In yeah, the movie. most of the battles are smaller battles. Yeah. That they've always had in the movies. But this time. In, in the Harry Potter series. Okay, this one is okay. Uh, look at it this way. I, you could not believe that half the world must have been anti warlocks. You know, that's what it looked like. The whole world was, you know, like half the world all of a sudden was wand carrying warlocks. And before there was a very small, like one community, and they had to hide from everybody. Well, when you've got tens of thousands of people, you don't have to hide from anyone. But, um, no, but technically, I, I think it was a foreshadowing of the future. That's my opinion. I, I looked at it from the technical side. I saw young actors who were actually, Hermione was the problem because she was changing a little bit during the, she was basically, um, during the role, girls have growth spurts. I think she, she grew a little bit out during the movie mm. because they were continually uh, putting her in outfits that kept covering up things. And then they made a, they also had many of a problem. She, she did an awful lot of, you know, like when she was a teenage girl, she was doing a lot of the bending over and stuff. 
Uh, it didn't quite work for a 20-year-old to be doing all the bending over mm -hmm. because her chest kept showing a lot. And every time her chest would show in a seed, the next thing you know, she'd be covered up more. Oh, see, I didn't even notice that. I noticed. I, mo I noticed. Yeah. I, was I, I watched all the techniques. This is what this is what happens to this grandmother being a script supervisor. Well, I had to because I sat there. My grandmother would say, "Okay, uh, she had one button undone on her blouse, and it was her." They then they start. Okay, that lady has two buttons undone on her blouse. And they're not the two buttons, even, neither button was undone before, are, okay, he was wearing his hat to the right, and now he's got his hat on straight, or he had his hat, you know, the curls up, you know, okay, you know, that basically you have to match everything up, because the seams have to be matching flawlessly. But, um, you know, it, it's, technically, it's really a good movie, technically. Mm -hmm. I mean, she liked, you know, her, her side is the uh, the purely entertainment side. I mean, I could, I could enjoy it technically, and like I said, we heard the people talking this morning about the fact that they think that all of the Harry Potter movies will probably be 3D because it They does, would look good in 3D. It, they lend themselves to it, all the action. If you think about all the, um, the cribbage, is it, is it cribbage? The matches that they did going yeah. in through the school yeah. on the birds, bur I mean, those would be really magnificent. Yeah, uh, you know, because the flying and the stuff, the flying at you, all of that, but, uh, uh, you know, but, but, you know, hers is the technical side. I mean, hers is the, the entertainment side more than mine is because I sit there and I go, I get wrapped up in the technical. I like the acting. I think that the adults basically did more than just stand around as a door, you know, as something to hold up doors or hold up walls because I know that when, I was young, they used to do cameos with people that were in their 60s and 70s, and all they were there was to sit there and hold a setup. Well, you know, there are movies, you know, when I look at movies, there's movies that you really have to see on the big screen that are substantially better. There's movies that it really doesn't make that much difference, um, and, you know, you, you can wait till they come out on video or DVD or whatever have you. Yeah. This is one of those movies where you don't have to see it in the theater, but you will have a better viewing experience if you do. But I think you will almost enjoy it equally as well if you see it in a home theater setting. Yeah. And you can also watch it on the smaller screen. Yeah. Um, okay. Although it's better, bigger. Okay. But I mean, you can, you can look is, at it, it other places. It is a movie that is, okay, unlike Transformers, it will play in 2D as well as it does 3D. Mm -hmm. So it's a, whereas, yeah, you know, because the, the 3D things, even though it was meant to be 3D, the three, okay, this is my philosophy, of, actually it's our philosophy of 3D. If you don't do everything in 3D, you end up with nothing getting done in 3D. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'll, I know that two is basically designed, the, the first part, number one, was designed to be in 3D also. I mean, oh, genius. You don't do it, you don't the same you time. It, the same time. it was done at the same time. You just don't say, oh, okay, two hours and 17 minutes is going to be in 2D and two hours is going to be done in 3D. But as most of you are familiar with, they always save something for the DVD releases. Which is going In to the be future for the multiples. Which in my guess is probably an hour and a half more material for the whole overall thing, so. It actually was shorter than I thought because. Well, it's supposed to be longer. I, mean, I don't know what the plate time to go down. I uh, got to go, I know, to jam my thing again. No. Go down. Go back to the other side and we'll see what the playtime is on the first page. Oh, and then and, and, and don't get, okay, here's the bad part. They give the people brand new names at the end of the movie 19 years later. And God, okay, God awful bad makeup jobs, folks. Really bad makeup jobs, except for the woman. I mean, I feel sorry for the, the young girl playing with Harry's wife. Jenny? Yeah. Her, her, she, then I think they got really close to what she's going to look like in 20 years. So, I mean, you can get to go back to the front to another one. Not the the abbreviated side. version. Yeah, and go back to the abbreviated version. But no, um, she's an attractive young, attractive teenager, but I, my guess is they made her look like her mother. Oh. They took her mother as an example. And, uh, and what happens is sometimes that people should never, be, because generally speaking, you don't look like that when you get to be older. 
they, they make a guess uh, and you know, they'll look at a relative and say, she doesn't look like that. Well, no, but um, I don't resemble my, my father or my mother, but I resemble my, my uh, great uncle. Okay, but she knows I do resemble that guy. It know. says it's 130 minutes running time. Yeah, but, but we know. Two hours and 10 minutes. Because, see, no, part of it is, the official time is set at 12.01. We were watching, I, I don't think the movie started until like 12. It, like, uh, it, no, it's 12.16. 12, 12.16, 12, okay. So, and then. And, and it was over at. Um, at 2.16, 2 2.15, because we were, I looked at the watch, the credits had already started. That's 100, and, that's, that's 100. That's 120 minutes. That's what I mean. I, I figured there was, uh, so it would there be was 10, 11 minutes missing from this movie that we saw. Mm -hmm. I think I could tell where they were missing, but, uh, mm -hmm. so it, um, it's, it's long, but it's not as long as part one. And, um. But you know, it did, in my opinion, I mean, it's worth the fifteen dollars to go see it in three D. I would like to see it in IMAX. I mean, yeah, I think because that would be I was told this morning that the IMAX is where to really see the Harry Potter movie. But we're, we're lucky, right? You know, ooh, behind this is a god awful, really beautiful IMAX. Well, because we we saw part of it because we yeah. it was that special promotion with AMC, mm -hmm. but there wasn't an AMC IMAX no. close to us. No, uh, does AMC have IMAXs? Yeah, AMC has IMAXs also, but the nearest IMAX is like 20-some miles from where this yeah. place is. And so, but, um, but, you know, this, my final piece of advice is worth the money to go see it, but I would, if it was me after seeing one with two, I'd, I'd absolutely make certain that I got to see one before I went to see two. And if you can't see one before you see two, they're playing one through seven separately in theaters across the nation this summer. Or they're even on TV. Or the seven on the no. cable channels. See, I mean, I was lucky enough. I actually did get to see parts of. I turned in, at, you know, at the wrong time, but I got to see parts of seven, so I did have a good idea before I went what it was going to look like. You know, so there were some things that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Which, because I do notice some people were good guys that turned out to be bad guys, don't, you know, basically they end up good guys no matter what. So you find something out. Well, and sometimes they're like double agents. They're double agents. They're, they're supposed to be bad and then they're really good. Or, or they're and then good, they're really bad. I mean, look, the, the little blonde creep, you know, who, God knows who's, who knows whose side he's on. I mean, at this point, ever bad, but his father's a weasel and his mother's a bigger weasel. Yeah, but his mother actually, you have to watch it. I'm going to give you a very important thing if you see this. Watch her character at the, you know, at the one of the anti-climaxes in the movie. There's a lot of them. Do you, uh, you notice it's the mouth voice that always needs to check up on Harry. Yeah. Yeah. And, and He's just supposed to know him better. Yeah, and they're the ones that save his ass all the time, which is funny, which is funny. They're bad. They're bad through the core, and they save his behind continually. But watch, so she, not had, really that she has a pivotal scene, but don't worry, she turns, you know, she does, in a true fashion of family, she does turn her butt and runs away when it counts the most, so. The whole family does. <laughs> the whole family turns and runs away. I mean, they're the only one that runs off from the battle. I mean, everybody else stays How loyal do you think they are? Yeah, so, so, but they're loyal to nobody but themselves. Mommy, here! You know, here now. So, and he comes. You know, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah but. Um, anyway, make certain you see Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two, and you know, see it in the theaters because I think this is one of those movies you'll yeah, enjoy. And, and, and we do promote IMAX because IMAX is an experience all into itself, and it really doesn't cost you a lot much, a lot more to see an IMAX version than it does. Um, the regular version, I think. I think it's more based on availability. Is it based on availability? Plus, you can actually get your seat selected in IMAX. The, you know what? It's, that's true. Anytime there's a new movie coming out, I always love to get reserved seating, especially when it's going to yeah. be very busy. Because we had no way of knowing when we went in. We did find a couple of good seats in the center, but we were god awful lucky. We were there, lucky. There were no other good seats in the center because mm -hmm. the first, nobody sits in the first few rows because this, this, this screen is too big for 3D. 3D cannot work if, you, if you're within 10 foot of the screen, it's really bad, so, but. Um, it could have been 15. Yeah, 
But uh, like it's this. still not good to set like this and watch the 3D thing. You're better back. So, but uh, you know that's you know, that, you know that's my part of my review. We're getting ready. We, we're going to do next week. We're going to be like Cowboys and Aliens, I think, or one of the other ones. Actually, she's going to be next week. By the time you see this, she'll have been talking to people like Captain America. Yeah. So. So we'll bring those to you. We'll talk. Those will be our next reviews. So until next time, this is OK. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, uh, you can go to www.montebubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.